Hello, dear friends. It's lovely to be with you again on this wonderful Wednesday morning. And I'm surrounded by birds singing. I'm surrounded by geese. And it's just a beautiful day out. And I know some of you have been out and about. Thank you so much for loving each other and taking care of each other. I've heard in my phone calls, I've heard you people are phoning each other. That's a beautiful thing. We are being church like this. On this morning, I wanted to share with you uh, from today's scripture reading. And just the one reading it is Psalm 143. I'm not going to explain much about it, but I do want to implore you to go and read. Also, I want to implore you to look into our websites for notices, especially from the diocese and from our, our Facebook page as well. Please go around and listen to all of that in terms of updates as to what's happening with church services, what's happening in, in, the, in the wider church and share with one another as well. So here am I, reading from Psalm 143, on a breezy day. David writes, David is in trouble. He is in real deep distress. And he writes, Hear my prayer, O Lord. Give ear to my supplications. Answer me in your faithfulness, in your righteousness. And do not enter into judgment with your servant. For in your sight no man living is righteous. For the enemy has persecuted my soul. He has crushed my life to the ground. He has made me dwell in darkness. Like those who have gone down to the dead. Therefore my spirit is overwhelmed within me. My heart is appalled within me. I remember the days of old. I meditate on your on your doings. I muse on the work of your hands. I stretch out my hands to you. My soul longs for you as a parched land. Answer me quickly, O Lord. My spirit fails. Do not hide your face from me, or I will become like those who go down to the pit. Let me hear your loving kindness in the morning. For I trust in you. Teach me the way in which I should walk. For to you I lift up my soul. Deliver me, O Lord, from my enemies. I take refuge in you. Teach me to do your will. For you are my God. Let your good spirit lead me on level ground. For the sake of your name, O Lord, revive me. In your righteousness, bring my soul out of trouble. And in your loving kindness, cut off my enemies. And destroy all those who afflict my soul. For I am your servant. But well, that is David's prayer in days of trouble. And I'm sure many of us can resonate with those, you know, when we find ourselves in deep, deep, deep trouble. We can cry out to God. I love the Psalms. And I've heard many people cry out Psalm 91 and pray that daily for protection. But it is our God that we always cry out to. Yes, using his words from the Bible. And like David, we must put our trust in our only refuge. Unlike the world, we are not filled with fear. No, not at all. We are taking courage in what's going on around us. Spread the love. Continue loving each other, even when we can't see each other face to face. Oh, I miss you guys. I really miss being in church, uh, hugging and shaking hands, laughing out loud, sharing a cup of coffee. But we can't do that. But what we can do is meet like this and pray. There's been a call for prayer for a while now. Church, we need to pray. Join me now as I briefly pray and continue to pray for each other and for myself and my family, please. Heavenly Father, it is so wonderful to know that you look after us all the time. It's great to know that you never slumber nor sleep. You are a trustworthy God, always. We take our refuge in you and you alone. God of mercies and grace, be with all our people. I'm thinking of all the ladies and gentlemen who are suffering in pain, not from the corona, not God, but from arthritis, from 
uh, back problems from knees and, and all other ailments that are natural with old age. So, Father, I pray that you bless them with comfort and strength. I remember those who are alone at this time in their homes. Visit them, O oh God, with your people. Thank you for the phone calls that have gone about. Father, may we continue to encourage one another. I will not neglect to pray for our government and those in the health care. Father, thank you so much for the hard work that they are doing. Give them wisdom, Lord God, as they seek for solutions. Bless us all. God bless Canada. God bless Sanya. God her, guide her leaders and guard her children. Give us peace, O oh Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all, always. Amen. Thank you. Bye-bye.